Hey, DB, introduce your pe yourself to the people on Facebook. All right, then. Hmm? Introduce yourself to the people Yo, what's Facebook? up, Facebook? This is your boy, D. Brown. I'm here with my man, Harold Dawson, his wife, Marcia Dawson, talking about a big event we got coming up. So tune in to w uh, WLB 1010 AM. Welcome back to the D Brown Sports Show. It's your boy D Brown. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Got a lot of love in the studio today. I got a, a real big event coming up. I got my man Harold Dawson, his beautiful wife Marcia in, in the studio. Got my one half of the Young Guns, my man Justin. Got Jay Marcus Production. Missing and absent is my man Tony Cole and his wife Trey. My business partners is their anniversary. So I want to take my hat off. Anybody can stay married that long. I got to take my, my hat off to them. So anyway, man, I you know, I'm back in pocket. I you know watched a lot of football yesterday. I, I just don't know. I don't know. My Cowboys, they looked like the best team in the world yesterday. I was crying and sad at the same time. I don't know why we can't play the same way, same way every week, but Dallas B49 is just a 40 to 10. There goes that. John Lynch called me. I can fix your problem. I promise you I can. Bills 30, Bucks 27, Chicago 17. They beat Carolina 17 to 3. Listen, before y'all go blaming Cam Newton, it's not Cam Newton's fault. Tip passes and fumbles and that's not his fault but i mean he make 80 million i guess it is his fault i guess i don't know tennessee 12 cleveland 9 cleveland may not win a game this year i'm kind of hoping they don't i got this like ongoing beef with jim brown about the donald trump and the colin kaepernick thing so nah i don't care call me 410-481-1010 new orleans 26 green bay 17 now check this out they had a petition they were signing in green bay i think the last time i looked it was 50 50 something 5700 signatures to bring get Colin Kaepernick to come to Green Bay. One thing I know about the people in Green Bay, that's why they call it Title Town. They don't give you an AKA, a Delta, a Q Dog, a Sigma, they don't care. Bring them in if he's going to help us win to Aaron Rodgers get back, that's what they they trying to do. So Green Bay lost yesterday 2617. I'm thinking the the petition going to come back out. Jacksonville 27, Indianapolis 0. Rams 33, Arizona 0. Carson Palmer is out for the He's going to be out for the year. I think he had a broken collarbone. That must be like a disease going around because everybody got it. Miami 31, Jets 28, Minnesota 24, <clears throat> Baltimore 16, Seattle 24, New York, New, uh, New York Giants 24-7. Then we had the Chargers beat Denver 21-0. The Patriots pulled out one 23 Atlanta 7 is the repeat of the Super Bowl. Tonight is the night, baby. Redskins in Philadelphia. Got my man Harold, my man Jay Marcus, everybody around here pumping their fists. They'll be crying tomorrow. I I just I think I I think I just like to see the reaction of the Redskin fans when they lose. Like they be about to jump off the cliff, you know. I be like one eight hundred suicide hotline. It'd be crazy, but you know, I mean, when you live in a city like D.C., even in Baltimore, you you have to win. Like it ain't no. 
Second place is just the first person that came in last place. That's all That's all that is. Like, I tell you just straight up. That's what I tell my son all the time. So let's look at this injury report because, you know, I'm like uh, the president of the Colin Kaepernick fan club. So let's see. Carson Palmer is out for Arizona. Jay Cutler is out with Miami. That's a $10 million. I'm glad Harold here because he can tell me how to take care of this $10 million because I, I need to get in shape or something. Aaron Rodgers is out. Cleveland's whole quarterback holds that whole quarterback situation is horrible at best, maybe. And I'm like being real nice because I got Marcia here and I don't want her to think that I'm crazy. So that's how that went. We got some big things going on, man. I gotta I gotta get to this because I've been I've been waiting for the last two days for these two people to come. So anybody that know me know that D Brown, I just, you know, I love the kids and you know. Grown people, I don't, you know, y'all kind of fight it out and get what y'all going to get. That's just how I look at life. So that's the purpose of D. Brown Foundation. We try to help kids get in college for free. That's just, that's what it's about. I don't, you know, it ain't no, you don't have to guess where it is with me. That's where it is. So Marcia and Harold are here. Um, they have a benefit concert for their daughter. I mentioned it last couple of weeks. Uh, Brielle Dotson, she's having a, a benefit concert at the Goshen United Methodist Church. They had Rance Allen last year. I bought a couple of tickets and gave them away because I couldn't go, but then, you know, I kept playing the Rance Allen song, kept crying. My wife's looking at me like I was crazy. So we got them here, and we just we just want to get a chance to get to talk to them briefly about the what? Okay, briefly about you know what's going on in Harold, Marcia. What's going on? How y'all doing? Hello, how are you? I'm, I'm, how you doing, D Brown? I'm, Thanks for having us. Hey man, listen, we family. That's what we do. That's what families do. Families take care of each other. So. Y'all having a y'all having a benefit. Let, let's start back from the beginning. I told my daughter this day she, today when I was talking to her, I was driving her. My daughter got her first job, like literally, like this is about to be crazy. But anyway, I was talking to my daughter. I said, "Listen, people like Brielle and my daughter, they the reason, they the thing that keeps me having faith in life. I mean, everything else in the world is like horrible, but it's something about." It's something about a father and his daughter. Like, you know, little boys, they gravitate to their mama, mama's boy, daddy's girl type thing. But it's something about a dude and his daughter, like, we ain't, we ain't trying to hear none of that. Like, so let me let me start back from the beginning. Brielle is how old now? She is six. She's six. Yep. She got diagnosed when? At the age of two. And she has what kind of cancer? Wilms. Or had? Yes, what? she's in remission right now, but she had she was diagnosed with Wilms tumor. Which is oh. a kidney cancer. Okay. It's a kid. I was about to say, explain that to me because I'm, you know, D. Brown, I'm stupid. I can tell you about sports. I can't tell you about nothing. Okay. So she had like a kidney cancer. Now, Harold, as her dad, I, I don't even imagine like what you was going through. Like, man, it's my baby. Like, what? Like, so how, how was that for you, Harold? You got the first initial conversation with the doctor and. Well, just a quick story. Basically, I was at work. And we noticed her stomach was getting Whoa. a little bit big. So we didn't know. Uh -huh. We just think that she's going for a routine visit. Mm -hmm. And I'm calling my wife. And the time is getting longer and longer. And then she finally calls back and says, you know, it's not good. They found something in the scans and said, that, you know, it looks like a tumor. So at that time, tumor, I'm like, at that time, I'm, you know, I'm at work. I just kind of lost it a little bit, you know, of emotional course. and and then you know from there the process just started you know we two days later we're at children's mm -hmm. two days later from that you know she's in a six-hour surgery to remove the tumor and her kidney and she's two two yeah i'm i'm about to cry now this is this is not good okay so but she was a soldier because when i saw her she was jumping on the back seat talking about she wanted to get some french fries or something it was crazy i'm like that's the same now let me get a, give a, give me a rundown of the, of the family. Like I know your son, run run me down your family. Like the okay, Harold is the husband, my sister is the wife. Run me down, run the kids down to me. Okay, my oldest daughter, she's a grown person. She grown person. <laughs> Twenty nine, Tanisha. Oh yeah, she got she got a job. My, okay, cool. My son Marquise, he just graduated from St. John. Yeah, Thank the Lord right for there. that. All day long. Uh, he's twenty two. Harold is seventeen. He's graduating this year. Yep. And then we got Anaya, who's ten, and Brielle's the baby. She's six. You Dotsons over there, boy. Ooh, <laughs> Lord have mercy. Hey, look, this this what this what marriage look like right here. They run them down. Like I got two, and I be I get to my son, I start crying. This joke ain't got no job or nothing. Harold, this be big as I don't know what. So okay, cool. So 
Marcia, from a from a mother's perspective, because like mama cub, like y'all don't care about none of that. Like it's mama cub, like I ain't trying none of that. Did you did you fight with it? Like how am I gonna call this dude at work and tell him? Like you think like maybe I should get in the car and just go and see him or? Well, no, I'm I'm a praying wife. Praise the Lord. So I immediately prayed first, mm -hmm. and um, and then God just gave me the words to to you know get to call him because him hearing that on the other end that that's it's devastating. Um, so it was it was it was very emotional, um, but I kept I kept calm. My husband would let you know I kept calm the entire time, um, but it's it's hurtful, you know, and it's just it's a bomb dropping on. Who would want to hear that your daughter? Um, you know, has a tumor. I'm, I'm, the weekend, I was just kind of, myself and Tony's not here, but I called Tony and I was just like, kind of like in meditation all weekend because I was 30 years old when I got diagnosed with cancer. I was 30, like, not my kid, like me. I was like, all right, I can, you know, whatever, like, I ain't, you know, I'm good. Like, God got something for me. I ain't going, now, my wife passed all the way out. She, like, I had, my son was like six months, I think. She's like, you don't leave me here to raise this boy. You crazy. I'm like, dude, I, so let's, let's talk a little bit. Let's talk a little bit about the event. Like, let's talk about, let's go back. Let's talk about last year's event. You guys had Rance Allen. Yes. Everybody was in there was crying when he sung something. <laughs> I know, I know they did. Jesus. I, I know they, they was crying. Anybody, uh, thugs in that joint cry. I know what happened. So last year, um, the people I gave my two tickets to, they told me it was, it was packed. It was, and that, that's a good sign, man. We have to support our community. So this year, let's talk about the people that you have on the show this year. Uh, we have uh, Norman Hutchins. A lot of people, he passed with Norman Hutchins, but he has some really big songs. Uh, he's a, you know, huge in the gospel industry, won Dove Awards, Stellar Awards. Right. Uh, got a good friend of mine who's Keith Wonderboy Johnson. Uh, we went to college together. Um, he's actually recent, a Grammy nominated. Uh, that's, that's that Eastern Shore click right there. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, he's won stellar awards. And, uh, of course, and we have a local guy from Baltimore, Randy Walters. And we have our our church choirs. Okay. Ma the Mass Choir, Goshen Mass Choir, and the Goshen Gospel Choir. And it's hosted by Jackie Gales Webb at WHU. Oh, yeah, for sure. Jackie Gales, she's good people. Anybody know Randy Walters? Call me at call me at 410 Baltimore. You got to support your own. Okay, so you're going to have an event. The event is November the 11th. Um, it's only $35. Like, come on, I've seen y'all spend $35 at Chick-fil-A. Like, let's just keep it 100 Um, Jackie, Jackie Gales Webb is going to be hosting. What, what does, now, what is the, what is the big picture for the, the Brielle, Brielle Foundation? What is the, like, what is the overall, like, look, if I can just help parents that's going through this, just like, you know, the transition is crazy sometimes. Like, you know, I, What's the situation? I think the biggest thing first, you know, we want to bring awareness to childhood cancer because a lot of times when people talk about cancer, they only talk about adults. Right. Until when we went through it and see all these families affected when we were going down into children's. Um, so our main thing is to, one, bring awareness. We want to give, you know, support to families because a lot of times people don't know when kids are, are diagnosed, one of the parents usually have to stop working because, right. you know, my, my daughter was going three and four times a week to appointments and you know it affects the family tremendously so we want to be able to provide support financially emotionally and we just recently uh got our official partnership with children's hospital so our event is up on their page uh That's so we're doing things down there with children's as well as you know Imp any families out there that who uh is in the need go to the brielle dotson foundation.org and you know Reach out to us, and we're definitely, you know, willing to help. And we'll and we'll get that up on the D Brown. We'll get that on the D Brown Foundation um, website as well. Like I, I was, you know, like I said, I was thirty when I got diagnosed the first time. And but I was a grown man though. Like I thirty, I had pretty much did pretty much whatever. Like I was, I was tripping at thirty. But I'm just sitting here imagining at two years old. I only got two kids, Destiny and DJ. And even one of them at two, like, I would have lost it. Like, literally, y'all would not be talking to me right now. But, like your wife said, she's a praying woman, and she had to pray for her and all of the kids. Because I'm sure that, now, your other kids, they must have been, like, what? Like, they was looking at you like you was crazy, I'm sure. Like, how did they How did they react? Um, Everybody was emotional. I, I tell you what, my 10-year-old my now, she was probably, what, 
six. She was about six. Six then. Mm -hmm. She was really like, she was really a trooper because she just really helped and really was always willing to help with anything with Brielle. And my once, he was in, you know, oh. he was away, so it was emotional for him. I yeah. thought he was at St. John's. And Harold, it was real emotional for them. But the one thing when we when she had the surgery, and this is a test to how God works, is that, you know, the day, the weekend she had the surgery, the best surgeon was on, on call. Best oh, surgeon cool. in the country. Yes. Cool. And then the lady kept telling us, it's okay because kids bounce back. And you wouldn't believe four days after having a six hour surgery, epidural, four days after she's up, and I knew she was getting better. She said, I'm hungry. Yes. I'm ready to eat. And <laughs> wow. this was four days after. Because she said, kids don't stress. They don't, yeah, you know, yeah. they don't know how to. Yeah, because even, even when I was going through, I was worried about how the mortgage was going to get paid, how to, exactly. like, you know, all that. And then, you know, at the time, my wife was a soldier. She was like, man, you know what? I'm just taking off work. I'm pulling all the money out of it. And I'm looking at her like, what? She was like, yeah, I'm, I ain't leaving you. So I was, I was literally going to, I was going to, once I realized, you talking about somebody who's never took a, taken an aspirin before in his life. So I was taking chemo. I was sleeping for like three days. It was crazy. And I was going to, I was going to radiation almost every day. So I'm sitting here thinking at two, at 45 pounds or whatever she was, man, hey dude, let me tell you something. If y'all wasn't my if y'all wasn't my heroes in the beginning, y'all definitely now and everybody on the D Brown Foundation, Pastor Cole, Trey, even my youngest, J Marcus Productions, all of my my partnerships, Satellite Motors, everybody, man. We need to purchase tickets, go out and support, or just do what I did last year. Just purchase tickets. If you can't go, just purchase tickets and give them to somebody as a gift. Um so the best way to go is through the website, Eventbrite. No, no. Um, it's actually it's on our website. It's, okay. Uh just go to brielle.dotsonfoundation.org, and then you'll see upcoming events, and it's a link. You click on the, the link, and uh -huh. you can you can donate, you can purchase the tickets. And I would be remiss. I have to give a shout out to my pastor because he, our new pastor, he's from Baltimore, Eric King. Okay, anybody know Eric King? Call up four one zero four eight one ten ten. Oh wow! So he, yeah, he was a soldier. He stepped right in and just just like yeah. took over. Like, yeah. man, that's what's up, man. Well, like I said, the event is November eleventh. At the Goshen United Methodist Church, that's 19615 Goshen Road, Gatesburg, Maryland. You know, put it in your phone. Y'all do everything else for $35. Y'all pay $35 to go to the club. Like, and y'all married. Like, I ain't really trying to put y'all out there, but whatever. Okay, so we're going to do that. Like, the D. Brown Foundation, we're going to do our part. Uh, D. Brown Sports Show, we're going to do our part. All of my partners, affiliate, my man, Mo down the Satellite Motors. Mo, I hope you're listening. Now, we need you. We, we, we need to make this... Like the best event ever, and it's, it's every year you guys are gonna try to do a con some kind of concert. We're gonna do a concert, but we got other events coming up. We're gonna do a uh, like a five k walk, and we're gonna do different stuff throughout. Yeah. I, I could be the dude this whole this, like pass the water. I ain't five k. <laughs> I ain't doing that. I, ain't, I promise you that. Um, all right, well, cool. Like you know, what I'm saying, Marcia, it's always good to see you. I don't see you enough. You are like one of the most wonderful people I've ever met. Like I, I see all them horrible people. Like I need to see good people more. It's gonna pray for me, like Lord, I know D Brown is. Ooh. I got you. I but got I see, you. I see your husband. Or I talk to your husband on the regular. Uh, man, I'm praying for you and the family. Man, don't forget November the 11th. Um, go right on the website, Brielle B R I E L L E Foundation, right? Or Brielle, Brielle Dotson D O T S O N foundation.org come on man let's go let's let's so we got november 11 we got three weeks when we had three weeks two weeks i know y'all got paid last friday so y'all get paid again yeah stop playing some of y'all get social security yeah come on the first i know like i know don't make me call y'all out call me up 410-1010 all right marcia harold like you know it's been good having y'all here man i had to get to y'all first before i I really lunch all the way out, and your wife be like, Harold, D. Brown is crazy. <laughs> so I, I had to come get to y'all first, man. I appreciate y'all for coming on the show. Y'all going to be, everybody out there, man, we're going to be talking about it for the next three, three, four weeks. I mean, we're going to be talking about it. Then I'm going to come back and give you a report about how it was. Or somebody can call in and give me a report about how it was. And this is me doing all this work. I'm, I'm getting old. I ain't doing that. All right? Man, I love y'all, man, and I just want y'all to keep the family strong. Harold Dotson Jr., you need to come see me, like, real soon. Because we don't have no money. Yeah, we don't have no money. I promise you that. So anything else you want to say, Harold? No, I just want to, you know, thank you guys for having thank us. You. And, uh, yeah, just come out and support if you can't. Just donate. 
and definitely hit the uh, website realdotsonfoundation.org. All right. So what's the what's the um what's the what's the what's the what's the, what's the next time we'll be on the show before the actual event? So the event is the eleventh. Like maybe we can do like a phone like a phone situation where y'all ain't got to come all the way up here, but we can just do a phone interview with you guys and just get it done. We can do that. Jay, remind me, you know, I'm getting old. All right, thank y'all for coming. That's my man, Harold, and his, his wife, Marcia. And we're going to get ready to go to this event November 11th. Uh, we're going to have a concert. My man, Keith Wonderboy Johnson, yeah, he, he real big. I like him. So we're going to get ready to get that done. All right, D-Brown Sports Show is brought to you by Liquid Cash. For all your money needs, you need to transfer money to your daughter in college. Your son, they go to St. John's that, don't, that didn't have a job, but he got a job now. You need to change, change like $25 to him. Download the Liquid Cash app start next week. The D Brown Sports Show will be paying for lunch. Anybody that donate the Liquid Cash app, we'll donate. We'll send you twenty five dollars, and then you just say I got liquid. Email us back or text us back, and then we'll go like that. Now, as Harold and, and Marcia leave out, we're going to go to this NBA thing. This NBA wrap up is brought to you by J Marcus Productions. J Marcus Productions for all your video needs. J Marcus Productions. Reach us on the web www.jmarcusproductions. Dot com. So, I started watching a lot of NBA games. Um, I only watched three. Listen, if you don't know, NBA has free NBA League Pass for the next, until the 24th. So, for $200 a, a season, you can buy it, but for the next four days, you can watch it for free. I mean, you know, D. Brown is all about the free. That's what I do. Okay, so I watched the Nets, 116 over the Hawks, 104. Minnesota, if you didn't see the Minnesota OKC game, it was extraordinary. Jesse, did you see the game? See it. Oh, uh, hold on for a minute. Let me cut your let me cut your mic on. Okay, there, there you go. Seen a little bit of it. You seen a, you seen a little bit of it? Okay, seen cool. It. All right. Well, all I know is OKC was up. They were tied. And then Minnesota hit the last shot, broke their heart. Carmelo had to hit a shot with like four less than four seconds left. Then they got the ball, came down, dribbled like three times, got to probably between half court and, and three point line, point line, shot it and made it. They lost by two. But OKC going to be fine, y'all. Trust me. Don't feel sorry for them. New Orleans, 119 to 112. Now, let me tell you this about the NBA, what I know. The NBA don't take long. I promise you that. They don't take long to get rid of you. Earl Watson, the season just started. Phoenix Suns. Earl Watson was 0-3. They fired him. Like, dude, they got 79 more games to go. They just fired him like, like, what was that? Like, come on, dude. So Phoenix got rid of Earl Watson. He was 0-3. I want to say this, and I know I'm going to get some calls and some emails. I got about 40-some emails. I should just bring emails and just read them off or whatever. But check this out. Luke Walton, 